All right then. I have to say, this run is not turning out how I expected it to. Um, getting all that rep of ride chart has basically thrown me off a little bit here. And then to boot on top of that, um, think about it as well. We basically have like you know our very divided like you know Delga Maelstrom like you know starting sector here. Um, Farfall runs pretty close as well. Looking at all this as well, like you know this is all like pretty like you know nice and tightly you know knit together as well. So, hmm, what am I gonna do here? I will note, by the way, that one thing I'm thinking about doing, I might actually piss off Steel Song because they're basically, like, you know, sort of, like, you know, only, like, over here um, as a place to, like, to basically, like, you know, watch out for because everywhere else are, like, you know, right here, right here, right here. All those are places that are basically very avoidable if I want to basically avoid them. Like, you know, go to war if, like, you know, war them as a thing. I could go to war if other places as well. I mean, um, Fulham's basically over here and here. Well, I guess we are Fulham, so I'm not going to go after war myself, but... Um, yeah, there's opportunities basically to go after other people, I guess. This is a question of who. Maybe we'll go after Zenrin. I only see them having, like, you know, this here, this here, and this here, so... And this here. Well, I guess everyone's basically going to have a good spot, basically, in the, in the galaxy, where they have, like, a choke point or something, but... Whatever, it's all fine. All right, so another for this like one one here, um, we have basically a couple missions here to basically do for these guys, and I've got cargo basically want to unload, so we're gonna try and visit that plan up there for checking them out. We just ran into a pirate apparently, so these guys are currently in a trade war with um, Rytar, so I could blow them up. Why not? We'll fight these guys and we'll try and take them on. Uh, actually, I don't have my talents up. Never mind. We're just going to retreat. We are going to retreat because I don't have my weapons available. There we go. We get away. I might have fought them, but I mean, if I had like town space to fight them with first. So we're not going to do that if we don't have talents for it. Uh, let's land here. I'll get my, like, you know, fuel back up. And... Hmm. Why not? We'll go for it. If I get this rep again, then we didn't get it. Oh, well. Some of my guys got injured, apparently. Those are my own pies. I'm not going to deal with those. But yeah, I'm going to try to get my rep up. I basically have it up to, you know, plus four or two here. That's a big number, basically, like, you know, to give away if I want to, like, you know, go hostile to ride chart. So I'm not really interested in doing that now, just for that reason. Because that's a big number, by the way, 42 for, like, an under faction. I'm going to travel trait. And while we're here, let's see if I get myself a soldier. Nope. I haven't really seen the big numbers for a while, have I? Oh, well. Um, we'll go up here to this place first, I guess. And there's a trail out here and all that stuff. And surplus, not the greatest thing to see, but... We can still sell stuff to this guy here and, like, you know, make some money. And, like, you know, this girl this stuff I don't really need, so, boom. There's a little bit of money, basically, to make use of. Um, I guess for here... I may stick around to try and get some stuff here, so, why not? And we got some credits for it. And by the way, you can see something here. Um, these guys are actually in a trade war with like Zemrin, so our actions are basically I a conflict to like Zemrin, so they actually get some, like you know money for it, or you know re re for it, reputation for it, and I lost some some you know, Falta Mesa there, so something out there that has happened, but you know whatever, it's fine. I don't mind getting a contact, but um, 
I do have to get deal breaker done at some point, is a thing. All right, well, we're going to get down here. And it's going to suck basically to blockade this guy, but I mean, we're just going to blockade him and try and like, get the economic squeeze on him, I guess. So, economic squeeze, go. Um, I don't mind getting the hostile parts because I could possibly blow him up, so let's do this. We learn a new rumor instead, so there's an artifact finder over there. And I'll take that. If I get the pirates to blow them up and get, you know, reputation for it. Cool. So we got the Veltus pirates. We can blow them up. Um, these guys are currently in a trade ban in Solar War. All right, here's something to note, by the way. Um, we basically people in Solar War, so if you blow up their ships, you can get a big reputation bonus to the other guys. So you lose a big one and force blow up the guy's ship. So that's something to note, by the way. It's, you know, that's something I can do. But let's fight these guys. I got my talents basically online, so we can do it. And let's move on to start off with. Ouch. My missiles are bigger than his missiles, so there's that to say about that. Let's see here. I'm going to get a little bit closer to him. And we'll put on evasive maneuvers right now. Oop, we feel like it closer. Quick surge. We'll use that then. Hope I don't go too close here. Oop, I did. Oh well. Uh, we'll do this. And let's try and back off on him, I guess. We backed off on each other, that's fine with me. And we'll bore him and try and like, do that some damage with, well, with that as well. I'm going to keep this guy in here to try and get his like, levels up to you know level 9 for uh, lifeline. And while we're at... You know, let's put in a core master, I think, at this point. Get him into the battle, at least. And everyone else is fine here for now, I think, so fight. So they basically have a full comic crew against my crew, so that's to be expected when you know we don't do much damage to him. You go after him. Ow. Oops, the rest of fire sucks. Um heal up him. Heal up yourself. Let's hit you. Ouch, my mech's taking some hits there. Kill her off. Him off. They got this one on themselves like crazy, but that's fine. Heal up yourself. And let's do this to him. Nice critical to him. Let's shoot him down. So I got to die of poison there, so, you know, this shows how effective it can be sometimes. Um, let's do it to you. Poison her. She'll die of poison if I'm lucky next time, but... They're kill her off now, she can't even hurt me. Damn, I was hoping he'd go first, my swordsman well, well. There we go, we took those guys out. Uh, we'll t take out their, ma their Master Drewster, Terrified crew. We actually went so far back, I guess, we went back to range 5, so... We're just, you, you know, yo-yoing here a little bit, I guess. Back and forth. We'll do this again. You know, I like the fact that I have Quick Surge. It does let me go forward. There is that to say about it. I guess we're just going to keep going forward at this point. Screw it. We're just going to charge him and board him to death. Alright, we'll send in these guys in as they are, I guess. So that's fine. 
Two of your officers showed up. That's going to be kind of a pain in fight, but oh well. Um, heal him up. And you can go after the officer. Officer. Down she goes. Ouch. Heal him up again. Ouch. Heal yourself up again. They really want to kill my doctor. Um, let's see here. Move him forward there, so... That'll keep him out of the fire line, that guy. That's why I basically did that. There we go. His health is going back up again. A more field searcher from him. That's fine. Let's heal him up a little bit more. And do a e search here. Let's do this. And we'll start bringing down you. Big kills to that guy, but whatever. Um, let's poison him. That missed, but well, you'll slash him. Ow. Do this again. Ow. Heal him up. Okay, perfect. Got there. We have two of them now. Let's heal you up. And we'll do bio poison slugs to this guy. Stop missing. There we go. Slasher. Do it now. She healed herself up, but whatever, that's fine. She can do she can do that, I guess, a little bit. Healing up his morale, I guess. Do this. Do this. Slash at him again. Oh, she survived. I thought she died from poison there, but she didn't. Oh well. Heal up a little bit. Heals herself up a little bit. There, everyone's full health again. Perfect, they all died. Alright, well, let's sabotage the missile system, panther crew a little bit more. And yeah, let's just keep moving forward to this honest guy. Looks like he's basically a long range ship, this guy, so. We'll take him out for some boring action, I'll take him down fast enough. At this point, um, let's put you in play. Because why not? Another officer's in play, so that's fine. Let's go like this. And we'll have you kill off her. You can go after her. You'll go after him. Just the officer now. Kill him. By the way, I'll note that he's basically in the first position and the last position there. So I know about like you know some of these positioning things is like you know um, she won't be able to use it in her position right there. But when, when you're like you know, when you're like the last guy in like, in the thing here, you can basically use any like you know in the position you're in. That's the thing about like you know pissing in this game. When you race the last guy, all of your pissing basically goes out the window. You can just do it on everyone, basically as a result. But I'll just like sort of don't shake this right now. She can't do this on herself because she's not in a valid position. He can though because he's got no, no one behind him. So that basically means he's in the last position right now. He's not in the first one anymore. And that's basically what it's all about. When like you know you see that happening. And you'll see that happening with other stuff as well, in, you know, the attacks and uh, suction and all that. Let's keep boarding him. Let's get these crew combats out of the way to get 50 more. That's what I want. And sure, let's throw those guys in again. Wow, these guys are all officers I'm throwing in, so... It's fun. 
Uh, let's go after you. Ow. Let's go after him. Ow. That's the thing, she doesn't have a sword to like protect herself her, but whatever. Down you go. You know what, let's do this and let's, you know, try and help my uh, guy in front. And so that poison in a moment anyways. There we go. Uh, let's go pant to crew again. Let's keep it up. This is fine. No captain yet, but it's fine. We just go through the entire, you know, ship of them if we want. You're gonna die of poison. You're fully healed. You're fully healed. Dead. Down she goes. Ow. Poison slugs. I like seeing people die of poison. I'm devious like that. Gah. Didn't even have to do it, but why not? This can happen, you know. This has to die of poison. Let's just do this. There's their captain, or... No, it's not captain. That's a pirate, by the way, but it's not a pirate like captain. It's got, like, you know, an officer rank, so... That's not their captain. Interesting. They have a pirate officer on their, sh on their ship. This dog is there. Well, that one wasn't, but whatever. Down you go. Perfect. Kill her off. Pistol barrage, go. Perfect, go take some poison now. There we go. And yeah, I'm not probably like, you know, it's not up to like 20 poison, bio poison damage, but you know, if it's, it's up to um, bio 20 of like 20, but it's not like a full 20 that you guys take sometimes. There we go, that's done. Uh, we'll take those, sure. It's just a matter of how long it'll be before we kill off all the crew. All right, let's see here. You know, I do want this guy to get some experience. Let's throw him back in. And we'll throw this guy in. All right, gun him down. There's the pirate um, captain, finally. Kill off her. And gun him down. on him. Spread the pain. Awesome. He's dead. Wow, she got a good initial roll there. Uh, this guy can't use his talent because it's too far um, forward. 
You yourself? Killer. Whoop, missed. There goes our captain. So, we won that battle. And we can start with the locker, Panda Crew, because why not? There we go, we got him suffer a wound. Alright, so, we loot the cargo here. Uh, they have access to narcotic spice. I could sell that for a pretty penny, I think. I'm sure I'll take this well. Take their fuel, because why not? Now, I could destroy these guys, and that would actually give me a big bonus to, like, reputation of, like, you know, Makumume, but I'm not really sure I want to, you know, piss these guys off just yet, so... <clears throat> we'll get our reputation with Rytar for really hampering these guys, and... That'll be that, I think. It's a good fight, man. You're done. Let's leave him be. We're just gonna quickly go up here and sell this stuff I just got pill for the gas. So land. And it's not worth the grace here, but you know, at least it'll sell here, so. There we go. We get some 11 k for it. Uh, I'm not going to recruit crew dogs, so I'm not going to do that right here, so that's fine. I can sell to a population world, by the way, from the, the any, any world here, so... If I want to... We're going to buy a mess in here. I'm just going to take it down here and sell to him and make some money doing that. Now this guy should actually want to acknowledge me because, you know, we're friends with him now, so... We'll acknowledge him. Uh, we get some nice reputation for Rytar right now, so... Yep, we're able to get some good reputation for these guys now. The vault is being Makulumi, by the way. We're gonna land here, we'll do this whole stuff. And, yeah, see, I don't lose any rep because, you know, unless we're, like, you know, from a Rytar world, or... If, or unless it's basically, like, loot from a Rytar world to somewhere else. You don't really have to worry about selling stuff with the trade war. So mainly we're around it with this because of that. Nope. So, not gonna get you. Now by the way, this has leveled up quite a bit from that battle, so... The blade does going up to level 6. This is up level 8, which basically means you get access to... Lifeline! There's a nice little buff for him. You can get access to... Level 7 for your engineer. And I'm wondering what I want to get for her, by the way. But I don't know if like the like you know military officer talents. You actually get some good stuff here, like you know stiff loop for like you know hostile guys. This is good for basically doing stuff like you know increase your faction reputation. But let's see here. I mean, I like to go down here, get the stuff down here. Um, if I basically get like a sounding fine, I could like, show that off, or I probably want to still get a hard bargain, but you know, there's some good stuff basically get for her, I guess, later on. My pistoler got up to level 6 for her combat you know, abilities, so that's nice. Um, I'm not probably like the, the combat, they do have other stuff they can do. They got like a bow poison grenade, so she can throw like grenades at people, and like you know, as you can see, it like you know, kills the parrying dog. She does a lot of damage to him. Cost 16 initiatives to use, but it's fine. You also buy. Um, there's also like I haven't really shown it off, but there's stuff stuff you can basically do to like, kill boring ships, turn them around, stuff like that. I don't really worry, worry about that because you know we're actually you know a powerhouse like early on. You know, it doesn't really matter, but you know it'll be later, used to later on that type of stuff. Um, this isn't a bad thing to get. Bow threat kills the initiative and kills the resist. That costs a lot of, you know, initially to use yourself. Well, this basically costs a little bit more and, like, does all this other stuff is on top of it. You know, let's get this. We'll get the Bottle Poison Grenade. We're going to make her a combat medic. Like, a natural combat medic. And you can train up to be Core Master 7. We've already got Stern Leader and Unworthy Intention, so I'm not really, you know, hurting for, like, you know, my command stuff anymore. Um, this guy here... I might want to get him steadfast aim so he can, he can basically buff himself with a little bit of damage when he basically fires at people for like more aim and stuff like that. Just give him some combat ability, this guy. Because that's always a good thing to do. 
We'll train that. So basically now he's got, you know, steadfast aim and a more of an intention, so a little bit of a mix of both there. One guy needs to level up, that's fine, we can deal with that later. I still have 18 weeks to deal deal with deal brokers, so I gotta worry about that, but let's keep this up for a little bit here. We got an unexpected ship, a ride chart smuggler. We're just gonna leave this guy, I think, and not worry about him because, you know, we're not trying to harm ride charts, you know, reputation at this point anymore. I don't wanna get this, so. At this point, let's just waste some time going to do this mission right here to deal broker. You know, just to sort of like, you know, get this done. Make sure I don't have to worry about that on the time loop of things. I might visit these worlds to see what the trail laws and stuff are as well. Okay, we arrive here. I'm going to land. This will hurt my rep to do, but we got her, you know, her to get done, so. Uh, our higher reputation and friendly status will get us quick access to Palace for an ocean where we'll work on Prince Godwin's behalf and take charge of friendly debate. We're going to go for um, careful negotiation here. So, I don't know if this hurts our reputation doing it, but you know, at the same time, we'll get done. So that's basically all the way. Let's pay our crew. I can't recruit anyone just yet, so we're going to hold off on that. Um, you can get up to level 8 on your core master job, I guess. That's fine. Fuel will get up there soon. Yeah, you just got to level up. Um, I'm not really sure what I want to basically get for my, like, you know, E-Tex at this point. I already have one of the guys, one of these guys have this. Three of these guys have that. I could go for this for, like, increased, you know, rewards from salvaging. When I get to it. Because that was pretty good, as you saw, salvaging. Salvaging is really awesome when you basically, you know, how a kid, like, you know, ship for it. So let's see if we can assist them just to have someone have that. And let's buy something for a tradeway, I guess. And we'll go up here and we'll visit here. And I just made a big mistake, by the way. So I'm willing to buy if I try and, you know, sell, you know, the block I just bought. It'll trade through the trade wars, like, you know, um, debuff here for, like, my, you know, reputation. So I could do this, but it's probably not a good idea to do it with, like, you know, this tradeway here. So... We're just going to visit and leave him alone. And we'll go here. And I'm just going to bring myself over here to this population center where I'll sell it there and, like, you know, not incur the penalty, basically, is the idea now. Smuggler! I could fight this guy. It'd be a nice way to pick up some stuff like I guess sell for, like, you know, Stop, but why? We're just going to retreat from him. We'll make our way over here for now. It costs so much fuel flying across the galaxy like this when they're very big. And Palace Intercept is not made for this. It's not made for travel. We're going to land here. Buy our fuel, heal up my guys, repair, spice. Oh, seriously? It's illegal here? The tree loss too high. Damn. Well. Nope. We'll just have to deal with the fact that I can't sell anywhere just yet. Um, get rid of this. Alright, these guys are going to be so, somewhat hostile, I think, so... Smith to inspection. Our boss is affected by law, so it's fine. And, you know, they lose morale, my guys. Try this again. A steel song part. They're in a Paladin cruiser. I could probably take this guy easily enough. Let's fight them. And let's just go with this to start off with.
Bombardment is going to hurt him a lot. Let's do it again. Look at that damage he's taking. That's the nice thing about your Void Torpedoes, they can do a lot of damage to stuff. As like the time progresses. Especially when I put, put Void Contortions on them to begin with. And the Opera Socks are going to hurt me more, so... These guys are hurting. Okay, his aim is basically shot, so... That's good. Let's get ourselves evasive maneuvers. Or actually, no, let's just um, advance forward for now. Perfect there. Here we go, getting a little closer. And we got so close I can't actually fire my arrow stuff. That's fine, let's do this. And a little bit closer. Alright, I want basically for you to be in the fight so I can level up your... Up your um, I want to level her up a little bit, this one. So you go right there. Uh, you're level 9. You're kind of high, Mr. Sourceman, but that's fine. You're, you expect to be high at this point. You're going to jump in battle. Let's fight. And let's go back on Lee right away. Let's go after him. And let's show this off. So, Bio Poison Grenade. Oh, I can't use it. I'm in the right, right place for it. Well, use this instead. And... Kill off this guy. Fire this guy. Kill this guy. That was quick. We can sacrifice our weapon, panic the crew. Form again. Yeah, she prepared his stuff by the way, so. No one has all those debuffs, but whatever. Let's fight again. Looks like we found a prior, you know, captain already, so. This will be a quicker fight. You know what I'm going to do at this point? Let's put that down him. Okay, you're, you're kind of slow today, I guess. We're going to do this. Now she can use a grenade. Grenade out! There we go. He's been poisoned. And he's got everything else bad with him now. Down you go. Actually, let's do this. There we go, we win. So we'll sabotage the torpedoes, panic the crew, and we win. Boom. Let's see if we have any good stuff to loot from him. Uh, no, not really. But whatever. It's fine. Let's take his fuel. And we lost the rep for basically, you know, hampering him, but we have more game with right charge, so it's fine. So that works for me. I'm happy with that. We still got a year basically deal with this, so we can still stick around basically keep doing this to right try, I guess, blockading them. There we go, mission success one. We're gonna do this again. I found her a trick. Alright, these guys want me to um, submit to inspection, I guess, so why not? And we'll do this. And look at that, we got this done. So, 
we lose a little rep for doing this, but we gain like you know some money for like you know completing the, the task. Zemmer defeated Ultimate in a trade war, so that happened. And before we leave, basically go back to um, Calgan. I've yet to be there, so I have yet to visit that Machiavelli place. I haven't gone to the Orville yet, so what I think I want to do right now, um, I just want to quickly run down to, like, you know, these places here, like, you know, see what they're all about. You know, see their, like, you know, trade laws and stuff like that. This is because I'm killing time before I have to go back. We'll go here, we'll land. Boom, boom, boom. I finally got one. This one's decent for combat. Keep. Alright, it's a little bit late getting her, but um We just got ourselves this like little two like uh, mockumly soldier. I'm gonna treat this guy as basically a close range guy, so she'll get roaring barrels. And well, at this point, I guess I'm sort of happy with, like, who I basically got from my crew. Um, we basically have, like, this guy for the back line. You can be sort of, like, like in, like, you know, the middle. You're, like, in the front. And, of course, my medics will be my medics, so they're there for that. At this point, by the way, you know, I'm going to possibly get stuff like this, Orbital Guard. That'll help with or um, Orbals, by the way, so I can, like, limit, like, stuff I really don't want want. And of course, you know, there is stuff I don't want basically to, you know, use for that. Get up to seven. And yeah, this will violate the bands of both these guys, so... No way I'm selling this here. Ugh. Okay, I can possibly sell the vodka move to this farm on the way over, so... Let's do that if I can. There's a bounty hunter, they'll probably say hi to me. Nope, they'll say retreat. Solar War has either ended or started. Fulin and Ultimesa are in a war. So we're apparently at war with um, Ultimesa now. Civil unrest is happening over here. Trail of one, that's amazing. That's like awesome if you could have like, you know, places like this or, you know, Trail Law 1 faction places because you can get very good rep when you sell like artifacts to them and stuff. If you have the, you know, permits for it. Ah, why is everything illegal? Just go here and sell here. I don't care anymore. There, that's done. Um, we want to go to that Orbal, I guess. Or that Refinery. Uh, you take stuff at Orbals, though, so take this. And we'll go there. We'll dock, we'll do this. There we go. That's a refinery up there, so... I'm ring clothing and that's about it, I guess. Well, you know what? If it's not worth it buying stuff, you know, it's not worth it buying stuff, and I just won't, won't, won't do it. Um, instead, we'll just basically fly up there, and if I see a pyro, kill him in, in, in the face, so to speak. That'll be the plan. Bye bye patrolling. I want to get that right chart, you know, wrap if I can. And we got it. Boom. 50 rep. So not only did I start this episode like hurting rep with my ride chart, but I got right up to the 50. Right even the past, like, you know, where it was before. Let's do this one as well. Yep, we got more rep. So we found a Zemran smuggler. These guys are in a dual assassin with ride chart, so... 
That could be fun. You know, let's just retreat from these guys, though. We lost a rep for that, but that's fine. Um, I'm not really sure if it was, like, you know, something like, you know, that hurt me, help, hurt me or helped me there, so. Basically, with dual assassins, all faction ships are more hostile. Increased chance of encountering buying hunter ships. Um, losing conflict can be devastating to conflict. Time is going to defeat factions, so. That's something I'll watch out for, by the way. These guys basically lose, like, their, like, you know, influence and stuff like that when that happens. Um... By you, reputation loss for knowledge ship or bounty uh, hunter ships of the imposing faction, so. I don't want to um, acknowledge any right chart bounty hunters or spies, I guess. Or, um, Zemran for that matter. I want this. Boom. An ultimate bounty hunter shows up. Um. These guys are hostile to me, by the way, because of our solar war of them, so. Let's we'll do this, I guess. I keep seeing these reps, and I want to get them, you know? So I'm just going to keep, keep going after them. And I keep getting them. Boom! Oh, look at that. I'm actually getting like a boost from my guys here, so... I can't have traits that boost up my rep even more. Do I actually have time to keep doing this? I guess I do. I don't want to get this, so we're good for now. That was pretty awesome. Um, some of my guys leveled up. You got the level nine. That's what I want to see. So lovely engineer. She can get access to like orbital stuff as well. You know what? Think about it right now. I'm not going to be buying a ship for a while, so I may just want to get myself like you know the orbital thing that she can get for now. So it's sounding fine for like more experience. I can get this later. Hard bargain. So we can do that later. You can get up to nothing because you can't get anything at this point. You can just get up to Blade Runner 7. I'm not sure there's any level 8 stuff for her, so I'm just going to wait for her for now. We're just going to make our way back over here for a moment. And I think I'll end the episode here. And I'm, I might just like, you know, try and game a few more orbs over here for this guy. Or any pirates will show up. Uh, sure, we'll fight them. Fire everything. Oh, you hit me. Hit me twice. I'll hurt him a little bit, as well as hurt me, apparently. Let's fire all this stuff at him. He's trying to move closer, apparently. That's fine by me. Let's go with the evasive maneuvers for now. Hope he's gonna move forward for sure now. Here he comes. Well, we can keep moving forward on him, I guess. He's got a lance, apparently. He's moving closer, apparently. I don't know why. Uh, let's see here. So, no by at this point, but you now have like this like new officer, so. I definitely want Ryaf here to get into the play. Um, I want you to stay in play to get your level up to level 9. And that'll be that. So, everyone fight. So you guys take some big hits. Uh, you're not in range to basically use your stuff here, so... Let's do this. And we'll do this. There's a swordsman. We'll do this. And we'll do this. And we'll do this. Whoop, he resisted that. By the way, you get a little bit of resistance from, like, I believe you're... What's he resisting this with? I have no idea. Well, he resisted that, um, you know, back, uh, blowback with uh, something there. Go off this guy. Ow. Tricky gunplay. She lost initiative, bleeding, deflection, all bad stuff to have happened to her, but whatever. Let's do this. We're not in a good position, or we are in a good position. Check and seal. I'll do this. She's gonna get hurt a little bit from that, but whatever.
Perfect. Done. So we basically win that. We'll pant the crew, keep it going. Now we're right on top of them. I think I want to basically have my mech come in play to basically help my up my guys here, so we'll do that. There's our captain. Do a purr. Hitting her again in the face, but whatever. Hit the captain. Hit the captain. Hit the captain. Uh, peel up yourself. Heal up everyone! Heal up the captain. There we go. Heal off this one. Awesome. We're alive. Heal her up. Heal her up. Hit this one. Lifeline her. Go off you. Let's do this. Go after her. Or him. Do it yourself. Let's heal up her. Kill off this one. Kill that poison now. There she goes. Do it yourself. And finish it off. Alright, I wasn't expecting another fight in there, but okay, we did. We uh, made him suffer a fatal wound there. Not much trouble, but I'll take it. Take their fuel. I can strip some people in here if I want to, but none of these guys look at all the crates, so... Let's just destroy them, and we'll salvage them. So at least some, like, you know, rep base or not rep, but morale based doing that, but we get a lot of experience for it, and we get money for it, so it's all good. And here we are at the Orville once more. Now, I may do that for a little bit, I don't know, we'll see. I'm going to decide that by the next episode. For now, I think we've basically gone far enough for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care.